in 2015, we elected probably the first populist uh, government uh, in, in Europe. We were ahead of the, uh, of the trend at the time. It was a hard left uh, government that actually formed a coalition uh, with a party that was to the right of the party I represent. Interesting enough that uh, so sometimes when it comes to populism, um, uh, ideology is not such an important uh, uh, factor. And at the time, they were elected because uh, they clearly promised uh, a set of solutions that uh, uh, everybody knew uh, was impossible to implement, but people were willing to give them, uh, give them a chance because they completely mistrusted the old political establishment. And what happened uh, since was we had four years of, uh, I, I think I'm being kind, very mediocre uh, the government. And then in 2019, uh, Greeks decided to uh, elect the party I have the privilege of leading uh, into power with, uh, with an absolute uh, uh, majority. And I think the reason we reached that point was exactly because at the end of the day, our democracy and our institutions were resilient. Uh, we are a well-functioning uh, uh, democracy. I think there were attempts uh, at the time by the previous government to control independent media, to influence justice, but our institutions held up. Our constitutional court held up when uh, the previous government tried to pass a legislation that was deemed unconstitutional in terms of control of the media, they rejected it. So we had a, a, an institutional foundation that was strong enough uh, to prevent a populist government from capturing power and winning again. Because my theory is that uh, these governments become very dangerous and they can become dangerous for democracy if they win a second election. Uh, uh, and we, we managed uh, to, uh, to avert that.